follow. Koromaru, I'm so glad to see you again. I was worried when I didn't see you at the Shrine Gate. But here you are, looking better than ever. <laughs> and so well dressed. You've become quite the fashionista, haven't you? Oh, <laughs> good boy. Good boy. Do you live in the store? Is Koromaru in good hands here? Uh, I thought so. By we, I take it you mean everyone in this dorm looks after him. I'm glad you found somewhere you can relax again. Don't you worry about a thing. You can live wherever you choose. I have to get going. Take care now, the both of you. What's wrong, Koromaro-san? I see. So that's what's troubling you. That woman from earlier, she offered to take Koromaru-san in at one point. But at the time, he still had unfinished business to attend to. Of course, she is unaware of that fact. So in all likelihood, she may still carry the wrong impression about Koromaru-san's feelings. Everything all right? Would this happen to be about Koromaru? Don't worry, I understand. Sometimes you don't even need words, right? He's such a sweet, smart boy, isn't he? So really, I'm all right. But thank you for being so thoughtful. The way he's by your side, he looks just like he did when he was with the priest. He must really trust you from the bottom of his heart. Please, take good care of Koromaru. been blessed with so many wonderful friends. Be sure to cherish them, okay? You'll be at that dorm from now on, won't you? <laughs> well, I'll have to visit you again then.
you today. The pooch must have been worried because you were sick so long. I ain't trying to nag, but don't take your health for granted. That special power of yours has been a huge boost to our strength. And it's no secret that Aki and Kirijo have their hands full with their own problems. Oh, you're back. Jeez, you've been picking up some weird stuff. You hungry or something? Fine. I'll fix you up a good meal when we get back. All right. Let's get the hell out of here. any more classes this afternoon. But that doesn't mean you're free to goof around. It's time to work together and put away the culture festival displays and decorations. I'll assign you into three groups for the cleanup. The first group will go to the science lab. Your leader will be... Hurry up and get this over with. Roger that. Got it. Hmm, I guess this was the photography club's display. Look, I got a pretty good picture of you. Whoa, the guy who took first looks pretty suntan. That's Hyacinth. It's crazy fast. Of course, it's only a matter of time until I take him down. You've already got him beat in the sweaty department. I swear, I've never seen you without your gym clothes. Then again, maybe you're the smart one here. Just walking around is enough to work up a sweat these days. Hey, you guys can jabber all you want, but at least keep things moving. At this rate, we'll be here all day. Uh, sorry, Takeba. My bad. Hey, he's got you all worked up. Nothing. Jeez. Yo, I brought the tools and stuff. The nail puller, tape, and, uh... If you require a drill, I have one installed. Cool. Thanks, guys. Wait, hang on. Where's the bubble wrap, Iori? Bubble wrap? Oh, right, we gotta pack stuff up. Uh... Good call, man. You should go get it. You know where they keep that stuff, right? Well, yeah, but 
you're the one who forgot to grab it. Oh, are you sure you don't want to go? That place is like a paradise, you know? Some fine chicas there would be just your type. Uh, what? No way. You serious? Give me the details, man. Ahem. I believe I asked you all to hurry it up so we could go home. Oh, uh, sorry, Yukatan. Man, talk about an ace directive. I heard that. Jeez, how stupid can you be? Junpei? More like stupay. I'm getting deja vu. Fine, I'll go to the supply room later. Still, it's a real shame the culture festival fell through. There were so many cool events I was looking forward to, like the stand-up comedy duos. They said it was gonna be open mic, so I was planning on trying it out. Oh, really? With who? You. Hmm. Wait, me? You gonna just push me on stage without even saying anything? I'm just messing with you. It was actually Miyamoto. Who, me? Hell no. Just another joke. Chill out, guys. I'll do it with you then. Now that's the spirit. Why don't we show these guys what we've got? <clears throat> Hello out there, everyone. We're the famous comedy duo, Kenji Tomochika. Oh, come on. I just gave you the perfect setup for a comeback. You could have said something like, Pretty lonely duo, or I'm here too, you know? Anyway, I sure can't wait for the culture festival. It's gonna be awesome, huh? What, you've given up already? All you gotta do is sleep like 360 more times and bam, culture festival. You know what they say, early to bed, early to rise. There you go, we got a top quality one this time. Kind of depressing, no? Hey, speaking of jokes, here's a good one. What do you do when your key isn't working? That's the lamest joke I've heard in years. Guess that's the best Gecko Khan has to offer. Hmm, not bad, considering we didn't rehearse this at all. Man, we would have been great. Break it up, you guys. Seriously, I take my eyes off you for one second. Speaking of things that would have been great, you missed out on your chance to be a maid, Takebasan. Huh? Oh, so word got out about that. I, for one, am fine with missing that opportunity. And a lot of guys were real disappointed. Ain't that right, Miyamoto? Huh? Uh, how should I know? Wait, why are they disappointed? The maids are there to help at the cafe, right? Ah, such a pure soul. No, well, it's kind of something that guys fantasize about. Mainly Junpei. Oh. What are you looking at me for? What did I do? Junpei-san. Oh, come on. You too, I chan
I don't think I ever told you about how things were before you joined. Seas originally started off with only three members. Back in middle school, I invited Akihiko to join, and Aragaki followed him soon after. We had no idea what we were doing back then. We were young, inexperienced, and we had almost no intel to work off of. We could barely even make it past the entrance to Tartarus back then. Actually exploring the tower like we're doing now was nothing more than a pipe dream. Even with all our shortcomings, we worked decently as a team. As peers, it was easy for us to connect, and the work was hard but fulfilling. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not complaining about our current circumstances. We've discovered how to eliminate the Dark Hour, and we've since grown much stronger. However, after what happened in Yakushima, and with Aragaki rejoining, it's hard not to remember the old days. Maybe I'm so concerned about re-enrolling him in school because I'm still living in the past. Well... Sometime after we started working as a team, we all came to an agreement. We promised we'd all graduate together. No one left behind. Akihiko was just as reckless back then, too. Our Gaki was always the one reminding him that our lives were at stake. Although his wording certainly wasn't quite so thoughtful. <laughs> it suits him, doesn't it? I guess you've gotten to know him well. Ever since he left the team, he's acted like he's wanted to punish himself. It's almost like he just wants to waste away. I'm hoping he'll remember his promise and take a step back and look at himself. That's why I gave you the paperwork to get him back in school. That was my last hope, but I suppose it didn't work out. I'll tell Akihiko myself. All right, I'll take this. I'll start on the process for extending his leave of absence. What's the matter? Oh, sure. What's wrong, though? Is it missing a page? I'll let you handle it, then. And make sure to let Aragaki know as well. too fragrant. Roses aren't really my thing. Maybe... Gerberas? Oh, <laughs> sorry. I'm redecorating my room and was thinking of getting some flowers to go with it. I think I'll go with the Gerberas. What color do you think I should get? <laughs> do you think so? I like pink too. I guess we have the same taste, huh? Then it's decided. I'll get these. Hmm. Come to think of it, 
Herbers by themselves might be a little plain. What other flowers do you think would look nice? Oh, wait, you've never seen my room, have you? <laughs> well, then why am I even asking you? You wish. I'm not falling for that trick. <laughs> You're as bad as Junpei. To be honest, any flowers would be fine if they were from you. Just kidding. <laughs> person. Hmm. Ranunculus wouldn't be bad either. Fertilizer. The rest is up to the weather. Let's head back now. Still carrying that thing around. Hmm. Looks like you're not just playing errand boy this time. Sorry, but I'm not going back to school. Since it's you, I guess I'll say it. I ain't gonna live much longer. I'm getting by on meds right now, but that won't last forever. This is probably the part where I ask God for a miracle, but that's never worked for me. This is my body we're talking about. I know it better than anyone, and I know there's nothing I can do. Here you go! Two specials. 
Eat up. The noodles are getting soggy. Hmm. I know it seems like I wasted your time, but... It's the good memories that stay with you and get people through their struggles. But it's also the mistakes you made that haunt you forever. I gotta use what time I have left to set things straight. I don't have the luxury of doing anything else. Oh, damn. You really don't mince your words, do you? But you know, that ain't so bad. It's way more refreshing than having someone keep quiet because they're scared of hurting my feelings. That's gotta be why they depend on you so much. Aki and Kurijo are fighting with way more confidence than they had two years ago. Yeah, you're just something special. But look, if you got time to waste on me, then go spend it on someone else. Like Amada. He's still just a kid. He's way in over his head. I'm still gonna do whatever I can to help. But after that, I'm counting on you. I'll hold on to this. Yeah. I should have been the one to hand it in. Sorry I put that on you. You can head on outside. I'm paying today. <laughs> Thanks. Money's on the counter. Thanks! Come again! until the very end. That last line he exchanged with the casino's boss gave me goosebumps. And how about that part when he was all, count to five? <laughs> I hope I can be like him when I'm an adult. What do you think it takes for a guy to be hard-boiled? That's true. The detective did always make the right call. No matter what situation he was in, he was compassionate but level-headed, and he never fell for the enemy's tricks. Come to think of it, that might be just what I need right now. I tend to get worked up about what's right in front of me, don't I? That's exactly the kind of thing a kid would do. I need to fix that. Well, now's as good a time as any to start. I'll give it my best shot. If I do that, do you think I could become like him? A cool, hard-boiled guy, just like the detective in the movie. <laughs> yeah. When I hear you say it, I really feel like it's possible. about the movie. Uh, uh, wait, I'm not sleepy yet, okay? to be
Let's get on with today's lesson. Okay, then.
decided I want to be able to make more than just rice balls. I started learning how to cook because I wanted to thank everyone for what they've done for me. But only knowing how to make rice balls isn't going to cut it. I told myself I needed to do something more, but then I started to doubt myself again. That's when I thought of you. So what I'm saying is, um, I'd like you to help me for just a bit longer. And I'd really appreciate it if you could keep giving me your advice. I promise I'm going to do the best I can. So, can I count on you? Really? Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. Thank you. I just want to thank everyone for helping me find my place in the world. I know I don't seem very reliable, but I want to make myself a useful member of the team. Personally, I don't think so, but thank you. You're always so encouraging. More than anything, though, I want to keep learning. For your sake, too. I'd like to be able to help you with more than just fighting. Doing it, right? Sorry, I guess I'm the only one who can answer that. Hmm. I'm going to head back now. Leftovers, we can keep them in the fridge, but we're cooking for two today. There probably won't be leftovers. Oh, I forgot to mention, but I'm making katsudon. Make sure to eat it all, no matter how it tastes. I said I'd thank you, didn't I? If you don't want it, I could put the meat away. But that's a pain, so just eat it. All right then, time to get started. The rice is already cooked, so just scoop everything into a bowl once it's ready. I like extra large portions, by the way. You're a fan, huh? Anyone can make this, as long as they practice. Today we just had the rice and toppings. But you could add side dishes too. Well, give it a try when you have time. All right, I did my part to thank you. You handle the cleanup. See you around.